I believe I ate something terribly disagreeable. Looking for something unusual. <laughs> Back again, Rivian Trap. White Wolf, welcome to the Passive Flora. Oh, no sign of recognition in your eyes. Greetings, sir. Don't fret. I'm sure I look quite different from when we last saw each other. Uh, which was? Oh, eons ago. You and Master Dandelion appeared, two halflings in tow. What a smash they were, the little chaps. We recount that night to this day. So the, uh, staff hasn't changed since then? Oh, of course it has. It does so incessantly in this business. Burley Berthy married a merchant. Ella struck out on her own. And you'll likely find Cerise praying at the temple. I alone remain. So, shall I summon the girls? Just remember, this is a decent establishment, pause to yourself to start with, and our girls are well-mannered. The range of subjects they discuss in detail, I myself find it daunting. Any girl in particular you'd recommend? You'd like Narcissa. Perhaps not the prettiest, but she's by far the most inventive. And as my dearly departed mother would say, the fun's not in the face. Actually, I'd just like to buy something. Certainly. Though for high stakes exclusively, of course. In fact, the game would be exceedingly boring without the risk. Up for a round? Why, yes. Let's play. understand how I lost that. Oh, I believe this card belongs to you now. No any other players willing to stake rare cards? In Novigrad, Siggy Rubin's collection is famous. You really should challenge him. Is there something you wish to discuss? With me? Is it your belief that you to gain from the annex by Redania? I shall pretend I did not hear that. Could it be that all roads lead to the passive flora? Welcome back. Hmm, when I look at you, why, I almost regret I'm no longer an active duty. 
I'd love to meet the rising generation of Passiflora buds. Could it be that all roads lead to the Passiflora? Welcome back. Hmm, when I look at you, why, I almost regret I'm no longer on active duty. Actually, I'd just like to buy something. Take care now. No strong cards, no gold king. Can't be entering, shall we? Do we not know the rules? But I've coin a plenty. Then I suggest you return with better cards and buy some more suitable attire. Cheer! Good sir. Cheer! Yes. Heard you play for high stakes here. Firstly, we must have the proper effect. Let's have a look at our cards, shall we? Cards are in order, but can we afford the buy-in? We can. Well, let's have a name then, and we shall issue an entry ticket. Geralt of Rivia. Gerard of Rivia. The match will start soon, but the hoi polloi must first be driven out. We will please wait. Achoo! Tournament participants only. Everyone else out. Achoo! We are cordially invited to come back tomorrow. Well, well. Geralt of Rivia. And I was beginning to think this tournament would be a dreadful bore. I'm afraid winning coin from peasants, thugs, and faux aristocrats is no great source of satisfaction for me. We know each other. Let's say we've some mutual acquaintances. I've heard many good things about you. In vivid detail. Hmm. Place like this, that's more a warning than a recommendation. What's your name? Sasha. Sasha what? Or maybe just skip right to telling me your real name. Place like this, Sasha will need to suffice. Come to the Passiflora often? Seem to know everyone. I'm here from time to time. I cannot say all the faces are familiar, but that is Patrick Hazelnut. Never goes anywhere without those three. Met a man once who traveled with two Zeracanian warrior women as bodyguards, but those three... Have other talents, clearly. The halfling's Bernard Tully, a farmer, claims to play for pleasure. But everyone wants to win, don't they? Best beware of that one. He's not particularly fond of others, outcasts, types like you. Ironic, since Phineas himself is a half-elf. And I'm certain you've heard of Count Tibble. After all, he is the one who organized this tournament. Actually, I haven't heard of him. He's reputed to be fabulously wealthy. I can't say how true it is, but he was able to afford his title and the county that came with it. All right. See you later, Sasha. Try to chat up the other players before the tournament begins. We must all wait for Count Tybalt anyway. Apologies, but I must focus my thoughts before the match. <laughs> I can see that. This will certainly serve me better than your conversation with Sasha has served you. I'd be wary of her. I'm new to this too. It took me ages to squirrel away the coin for the buy-in. Mushrooms are no quick route to riches. <laughs> Are you really a farmer? Why not look it? Got a little farmstead just outside the city. Could sit there for days just watching things grow. What's with the smell? The smell? Anywho, mushrooms are all well and good, but one's got to get away at times. My lady, she was in tears, said I'd get my throat slit in Novigrad. 
But I says to her, I says, Hortensia, what a chance. The best players, the rarest cards. She had to let me go. Good luck to you. Likewise. Now, that's the sporting spirit. Not like that half-elf over there who's been shooting me murderous glares this whole time. <laughs> you a vulgar one. You can see it in your face. What? Playing tournaments often? What are to you? Perhaps you'd wish to see my cards as well. Am I a hee-haw for you to fondle before you choose? Shall I wag my prick for you? See your cards when we play. You're unlikely to advance that far, mutant. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our closed Gwent tournament. By closed, I mean more than the mere elite nature of the event. Anyone leaving the Passiflora before the end of play will be disqualified. That's rule number one. Rules number two, three, and four are no fighting, dirty play, or magic tricks. We play for golden figurines. The winner will take them all along with a monetary prize equal to nine times the buy-in. Easy enough to calculate that nine have entered. The tournament will consist of three rounds. The finalist emerging from said shall play me. Players will be paired by random draw. The groupings for the first round shall be read now. Achoo! Phineas and Tim Knott. Patrick Hazelnut and Harold Featherbuns. Gervolt of Rivia and Bernard Tull. Ah, how about that? Bramble Frontenstock and... Achoo! Madam Sasha. Excellent. A pleasant match to you all. Starting at last. A year down the road, I'll be plying Hortensia and my lads with tales of this night. Let's play!
Who would have thought? Thank you for a game well played. So, how did you fare in the first round? Tournament's over for me, I'm afraid. Hmm, not necessarily. I have a proposition for you. Shall we discuss it upstairs? Lovely view from the terrace. All right. coin. That's the grand prize, you know. I can't speak for you, but I'd prefer it didn't land in the wrong hands. And luck can be so undependable. Frankly, one should simply take the coin, subtly, you know, without bothering the others. Huh. As propositions go, this is not exactly what I was expecting. You don't seem like a... Thief? True, it's not my day job. Which is why I could use some help. Why tell me? I'm a woman. I'm in need of that coin. And Geralt of Rivia would never abandon a woman in need. Or so I heard. Who do you hear it from? Fringilla Vigo. She told me of your adventures in Beauclair. Apparently you're dependable. So long as the cause is just. Doesn't seem like a just cause to me. What if I told you my life depended on it? Hmm. That changes things. Fine. Let's say I help you. I'll split the coin with you, of course. What's the plan? First, you must stay to the end of the tournament. I shall tell you the rest when the time comes. All sounds pretty mysterious, but fine. Excellent. Now that's settled, let's rejoin the others. Congratulations, madame. A superb match. Did you expect to be victorious, my lady? Yes, I had a good feeling about the tournament. Thief! The coin's gone. The guard's been stabbed. What? How is this possible? No one's removed the coin from the premises. All those leaving were searched. Phew! We must scour the building. Anyone leaving must pass inspection. Before you ask, it wasn't me. Figured as much. You promised to help me. I say we try to recover the coin together. Agreed. Where do we start? We must get upstairs. Wait. I say, this Witcher is Captain Hansen's good friend. He could examine the crime scene. Charge only a trifling. A fee? But... We will, of course, collect it from the Captain personally. How is his injury from the other week? Has it healed yet? Well, I did it. Splendid. We shall go upstairs at once. Eat shit. Next time we see the captain, my lady, I'd um, appreciate your mention. That is all, good fellow. You may go. The Witcher requires absolute silence while he works. Mm, of course. That went well. Really know the captain? Yes, a horrid man. Come now, get to work. Blows delivered from a strange angle. Expert though, precise. A 
Somebody dragged something heavy towards the terrace. Crossbow bolt. A line tied to it. Line's clearly been cut. The thief might have used it to lower the sack of coin. He'd need an accomplice waiting down below to grab it. Hmm. Something down there, but I can't make it out. Must have been one of the players. Lowered the coin down on the line, then strolled past the guards. Hmm. This was well prepared. Think you can track the culprit down? Don't know yet. I'll look in the street, see if I can find anything there. Come on. Could it be that all roads lead to the passive flora? Welcome back. Hmm. When I look at you, why, I almost regret I'm no longer an active duty. Actually, I'd just like to buy something. Take care now. Same as the one tied to the bolt. Gonna have to look around. Where's that scent coming from? Cinnamon. Strange. I don't smell a thing. waste. Cooper had lost this crate. Must have fallen off the wagon. Can you be certain this was the thief's? Crossbow under the packages. <laughs> Itching to crack a pun about every rosemary having its... I appreciate you resisting the impulse. Mm, I've seen this guild mark. It's a trading company's. One that imports spices from Zeracania. They have a storehouse at the docks. Northernmost one on this side of the port. Shall I meet you there? Sounds good. We crossed the Yara, we will cross the Pontar as well. Greetings! You here for a specific reason? Got a meeting with Rosa, a fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes? Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. Greetings, Hansen. Huh? Stop talking any day now. That field marshal dude is replacement? The marshal was a parrot. You do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mage's estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up, put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could be. It weren't possible. Ah, but dandelions what matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much a note. He wasn't staying with any of them. I've not seen hiding or hair of them in ages. 
All I'll lay out was a few of Dandelion's pickup lanes. Dubious wolf. Let's hear him. I'm all ears. Uh, you know how he wooed a last study in natural history? Asked him about the habits of trolls. <laughs> you know where he went with the cook from the Passiflora? The Oxenford Novigrad Road, which has just now been repaired. He had a stare for hours as laborers crushed boulders into cobblestones, trying to pass it off as a romantic outing. I don't know the human woman, but that would bore a dwarven mass to tears. He's growing old, that poet of ours. Maybe. Or maybe he did all that for a reason. Sounds like you found something out. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. I must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up Dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more. A laddie's head's on fire. The lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Zoltan? Geralt! Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but... The truth is, I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. Saw burning pyres when I arrived in Novigrad. Yes, Felicia Cory, a sorceress that was. The crowd came for the other bun that day. A Doppler. Crafty wee bugger who'd spent years masquerading as Chappelle, commander of the Temple Guard. It was Caleb Menge who exposed him, executed him, and promptly took his post. Met that Doppler years ago, just after he'd assumed Chappelle's identity and form. Wasn't all that surprised when the Church of the Eternal Fire turned Toller into freaks, opened up a bit to magic and mages. Ah, well, that's all changed now. Every mage who came here seeking refuge is now caught in a trap. Round of Gwent? I never refuse. Let's play.
things I won. A right fucking shock, given your frankly amateur dick. Here, take this card. You need it. You'd do well to fix your collection. It's downright porous. Don't need you bringing me shame a good dandelion for that. You might skim something off your mate, Roach. He's said to have good cards, that one. It's hard to light a pyre in this Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Varatra said that. And this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia, the best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I've something I wish to show you. You're using me. Don't like it one bit. And I don't like lacy frills and Redanian novels, but you don't hear me complaining. Now follow me. Okay, Swix. Here. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank old cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. Listen, I'd really rather not hurt you. Stop patronizing me, or you'll be the one to get hurt. Now on guard. By the way, how'd you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. All right, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. 
I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset, it slows you. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varatra will kill me. Need to find her. Can't be far. Seven cats is this way. Great. Girl just wants to have fun. Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shite you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie... I believe you've offended the young lady. Now apologize, as nicely as you can. For, forgive me, milady. I... I am sorry. Your turn. Be nice like your friend. Bow low, and go be a patriot somewhere else. Lucas and Kobe. I shall remember those names. And when the Emperor takes Novigrad, I will find them and have them pay. Easy. Didn't hurt you in the end. They raised their hand against me. That's enough to have that hand lopped off. And you wonder why the locals hate Novgard? I thought you were different from other Nordlings. That you understand us, our sense of justice. I see I was wrong. You should go home now. And take the shortest not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt, and good luck on the path. the luckiest tavern in town. They even say the hangovers are wine begets are lucky. <laughs> What's on the menu today? So long. So fast, Roach. Hey, ya! <laughs> Greetings. What is it? Anything interesting to sell? I do, but shh.
So long. If anyone asks, you've not seen me. Slow now. The rain will cleanse the city's streets of filth. Patty Gruber, I'm a bookie. I trust you're here to fight. What can you tell me about these fights? Bouts are held in Novigrad, the Skellige Isles, and in Velen. Each region has its champion, but to face the said champion, you must first defeat three other contenders in that region. Defeat the champions of Velen, Skellige, and Novigrad, and you will win the prestigious title of Champion of Champions. I'm ready. Hear that? A fight at last! Our champion, Archibald O'Neill, to face Geralt! Fight! You'll never learn. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion! The man who dethroned Archibald O'Neill Bravo to Geralt! A beautiful bout! Wanna be crowned the best in Novigrad? Who do I gotta fight? Durden the Tailor fights every night in the outskirts where the non-humans have settled. So fast, Roach. beyond the city walls. Ah, we've been expecting you. We're already taking bets. You've been weighed, you've been measured, and you've been found scrawny. In what world could you possibly defeat me? The newcomer may seem all skin and bones, but remember, he defeated the sergeant to the bloody baron of Velen. This elf's a dick. That been the case with all champions of Novigrad? No, I am the first. Do you know why they call me the Tailor? It began after I gutted some men with these very hands. <sighs> I knew that was going to be a shitty story. Came here to fight the Tailor, so let's do this. Novigraders, one and all, a momentous occurrence. Before us, in just minutes, Geralt of Rivia will face the tailor. Come here, bitch. Uncle Durden wants to sew you a new face. Is that least it died of difficulty. 
Durden is champion no more. Henceforth, the title belongs to the Drifter. If you've not had your fill of slapabouts just yet, you'll find other eager challengers in Velen and Skellige. burnt flesh. Can they not burn those fires beyond the city walls? <laughs> like a belch between two pints, cause you're out of your fucking element. So make like a hare and sod off. Let's pretend I didn't hear that. Now get out of here, before I get tired of playing make-believe. I see you lot are tough in the tongue and nowhere else. Fuck this, we're gonna let some dandy's boyfriend scare us. Let's show him how things are done on our turf. Thank you for your help. That's the only way to deal with this rabble. They beg for trouble. And you're begging for trouble just coming here at this hour. Especially dressed like that. I've come on business. Good luck with that. Wait. You helped me once, perhaps you'd be willing to do it again. For more than a kind word this time. What's involved? Just to be clear, I'm neither a bodyguard nor an assassin for hire. Now what makes you think I need either of those? I'd simply ask you to accompany me on a stroll. Should anything happen along the way, well, perhaps then you might need to do some work for your pay. What say you to that? Agreed. I'll be right behind you. Keep your hand on your hilt. As a general matter of precaution, of course. Of course. Always do that when I'm out for a stroll. Those men were common cretins, unaware they'd cast their net for an extreme. Remember that when it comes time for you to pay up. a protector would be of no help. What is this about? Let's say I've found a niche I intend to explore. The details I must keep to myself. 
After all, I did not agree to pay you to ask me questions. Haven't seen a single crown yet. Because we've not yet finished our scroll. Where's the year? We shall talk about this later, all right? You're late. I'm afraid I had some unexpected adventures along the way. However, we can now focus on our core concern, and that is what matters. Who's the fella followed you here? He's my gardener. I never go anywhere without him. Uh, he's good luck using him. Just no funny stuff. Got it? What's going on here? Oh, listen. Mind watering those cornflowers over there? No cornflowers here. Look harder. Right, on with it before winter snows surprise us. Got four quarts for you now. I can get you another two real quick. Provided you're not lying about demand. I am Ginter de Laverac, and I never go back on my word. I had no trouble distributing the last four quarts, and I assure you there's demand for more. We'll see about that. For now, you owe me 5,000 crowns for the last batch. We agreed on 4,000. And I don't like cheats. I suggest you refrain from trying to pull anything lest you feel a witcher's blade in your gut, right? Don't care who owes who or how much, but this man is supposed to pay me, so I'd rather he not get fleeced. Huh. Witcher or not, you can't hope to drop us all. Wanna find out? Peace brings prosperity. Strife's bad for business. Fine, make it 4,000. Let's go. Pure pleasure doing business with you. Well, that went better than I ever expected. We done with our walk? Yes. And here's your pad. One question. Who buys your fist deck? Oh, friends in high places. I have many. They pay exceedingly well, though they're demanding as clients. The Fistech must be of the purest variety. Pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you. Guys, I'm not the sea. Let it rain. You're garbitching for a bruising. Can't let my jacket get wet again. I'll get lashed. Why is there never enough ground? Ah, oh, to hell with it. God, it's everywhere. I see it all around. What is Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Lead the way. Splendid. Come. Armed ruffians in town. Scandalous. The King of Beggars, ah. man. His name is Tinboy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to eye, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. I'm alone, Elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Ah. Uh, fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver. There's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron 
in exchange for 50% of your profits. Give you 25. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? Thirty-fives <sighs> as low as we'll go. Twenty-fives our limit. We'll throw in a discount at the shop. <laughs> You're clearly daft, Trem. No deal. Come on, boys. Fine. No deal. Geralt, what are you... Wait. All right. Certainly know how to negotiate, concerned friend. Oh, 25 it is, and the discount. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, tin boy. Too much drink. You softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Damn it. Who's this now? Cleaver's boys! Our news travels fast. What do we do now? Careful! There could be more in there! Follow me. Right. Sure hope there's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Can you provide protection? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat, while your partner's just flown the coop. Damn it. Hey, wait! <laughs> Good luck! Hattori, wait! Uh -oh. 
Satori? You in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until Middenvern. Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits. Make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies and then what? You'll have to pay him. What have I done? Geralt, you must help me! No, I won't. I'm a Witcher, not a bodyguard. Precisely! You must find me a bodyguard! Geralt, I beg you! They'll kill me! What? Where am I supposed to find you a bodyguard? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. Can't you talk to him yourself? We parted... not on the best of terms. That is to say, he demanded a bonus and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. They are pissed with trousers. They've taken over crippled Kate's. Taken over? How's that? Clobbered the innkeep, tossed out the girls, then set to drinking. They've been going since yesterday, apparently celebrating some big loop. Yeah, sounds like Skelligers. But you look to be an honest man. Help us. Drive away the hooligans. We've not much, but it'll make a tidy sum if we all pitch in. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Really? So there are good men left in the world. Grand those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Sorry, mate. Gotta fill your horn elsewhere. This establishment's part of Skellige today. Seems to me we're still in Novigrad. And in Novigrad, Novigrad rules apply. Rules you happen to be breaking. Just how's that? You're not allowed to drink in peace. Have a bit of fun. Leg it, man, before you taste the wrath of a Skelliger. Collect your friends and go. On your best behavior now. Hey. Gents, time to go. This blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, hey? Damn the um, black ones! Uh, uh, you are in, you knob! You're not You're in! Stop fucking around! Thanks so much! We'd not have managed on our own. We're not rich. But I hope this is enough. Keep it. Need it more than I do. Thank you. It's folk like you restore my faith in humankind. Smash 
We weren't done conversing. Call that a conversation. Not your plowing business. You need a smack, is that it? Sorry, but you asked for it. I'm Geralt. Sucrus. You did well, mate. An ale to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. What brings you here, Garrett? You and the merchant. What was that about? Why my sis wedded that plowing rotter is beyond me. That was your brother-in-law? Prick-in-law, more like. Sweet talk made first. Skellig and me, we need barrels, we'll be rich men. So, I brought it in. Then he starts going on about unforeseen storage costs, net gross balances, I know what else. Business and family just don't mix. Exactly, mate. Looking for a bodyguard. Interested? Why not? If there's coin in it. Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're to barter. Favor for a favor, huh? I'm gonna kill you, Hattori. Yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? My brother-in-law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. <sighs> Damn it. I'll do it. Where'll I find him? Nearby at the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't know. So what do you want me to do? Smash his stock at me. It was me brought it in from Aunt Skelly. a uh, mature thing to do? Nay, but it's fair. Beyond the walls. What'll it be? What are you serving? Farewell. Racial hygiene's as poor as their personal hygiene.
Not have it easy this time. Brought friends. Huh. They all pledged to defend Maid Bilberry's honor too. No. No, no, they defend justice. For it is only fair you face a threesome. Is that so? Yes, for you are a rogue and a cheat, sir. You never revealed yourself to be a witcher. You'd better go home, get some sleep, think things over tomorrow. Wise words. Don't know about you two, but I'm feeling a bit sleepy. Yeah. We're done here. Awful pale. Oh, you scared. Yeah? It's all you at Chapel's burning. Something about you stinks of wizardry. Come, sir. Feast your eyes on my lovely baubles. Don't know that I'm gonna buy anything, but I sure wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent. Deals this side of the world. Greetings. I'm Mr. Sucrus's collector. Come to get. Mr. Sucrus? The man's a boar. 
I do not deal with illiterate peasants. Tell them I'll pay just as soon as palm trees sprout on Skellige. Palm trees have sprouted on Skellige. Now pay up. It can't be. Of course I shall pay Sucris. A letter of credit acceptable? Redeemable at the Vivaldi's bank? Yes, I'm on my way. You're garbitching for a brooding. about the warehouse. Try to get in through here. Lead the way. Which one's Hortensia? The tall one. Masquerade's done, Tully. Give us the coin. Masquerade? <laughs> well put. Been watching you from the start, sweetheart. Though I ought to admit, I thought you'd follow me alone. Told him who you are yet? No. I'm sure he'd love to hear it. Go on, tell him. Or I'll tell Hortensia to break your fingers. What's this about? It's about Madame Sasha swallowing my mushroom farming nonsense hook, line and sinker when she should have been more vigilant. So, will you tell him who you spy for? Or would you rather scream it out? Let go of her. Step away. One of you restrain him, then make sure he gets a good view. I did not, in fact, suspect him, whereas he clearly caught on to me long ago. Halflings can be unpredictable. At any rate, we've succeeded. Now to divide the coin. It's yours. You won the tournament. But you helped me get my prize back. We'll split it, half and half. Know what? Let's have dinner at the Kingfisher. My treat, to celebrate my last day in Novigrad. Heading back to Nilfgaard? That why you needed the coin? 
I see you miss very little. Still got a touch of an accent. Ah well. It seems I shall need a new trait. Anyway, I'm compromised in Novigrad, so... Ah. Who were you before you became a spy? I don't rightly remember anymore. But I suppose you can call me Cantarella. That your real name? Well, almost. I'd love to. As it turned out, the blue-eyed prostitute was actually his sister. He couldn't believe it. Oh, my. He asked me to see her again at the House of the Night, and then... Fascinating story. Shall we go upstairs? You can show me exactly how it ended. Great idea. Hmm. <laughs> Slipped away without a word. Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon.
It was him murdered some Tamarian boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is! Permit me to introduce uh, this year's Priscilla, known also as Calinetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. There's a good reason I don't pour my heart out to bards. They always babble, as you just demonstrated. But listen, besides giving you the details of my affairs, did Dandelion mention his own plans, where he might be going? <laughs> Splendid! Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. <laughs> Forgot to pay for his way into Passaflora once. I'm really awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name. No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally. Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, a bit bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Poppy to feed. And then I suppose I'll wait. See if our warbler don't come home on his own. Take care now. Zoltan. Get out. You've been in town a while. Maybe you can tell me. Radovid and Demir. Why hasn't either taken the city? Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. 
War requires resources wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand. The city's walls are high. Its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The big fours made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble and any assault on the city sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? I've got one concept for you. The Big Four. Sigi Ruven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Horson Jr. What do you call a triumvirate, but with four individuals? No idea. Well, there are four, and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Horson recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. Dandelion, how do you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first? Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. Take care now. Think of it, no? Can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. Credit issued by the Vivaldi's bank. Is that so? Well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? 
just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on access once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Oh, noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't say why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. The reapers come for me. Greetings, Hattori. See, Sucrus already found you. You two agree to something? Yes, Geralt. I was forced to sell him a few axes at the wholesale price, but I was glad to do it. Thank you. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No, you'd never agree. Agree to what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could borrow a little. What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this, and why? It's simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. All right, all right. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. Greetings. Oh, Geralt. How are things? Hattori's got a job for us. Great. I was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Mm, sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there, look around. Meet us near the sturgeon. Fine. When? After dark, of course. See you there. We know all we 
need to know. Just one guard at the entrance. I'll take care of him. Thought you might. Me nose ain't all that sensitive. I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark him with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. Need scratching. Fancy a hot back to my place. Mm. Oh, that is so pretty, baby. Oh, my God. The deal of a lifetime. Oh, God. Not like I care, mate. Nice sod off. And when I came to, I realized I just left the Vivaldi's bank penniless. Mind control, spell casting. What sorcery is this? <clears throat> what the hell? It's you! I know you! Mr. Dwarf, this is the thieving swindler I told you about. Are you following me, you scoundrel? Ah, plowing nonsense. I knows him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well... It all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us! You trade heads with Troll. A friend of Yap and Zygrin's a friend of mine. Now sod off for I lose my temper. Now! Abracadabra, hocus pocus. <laughs> How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? What I'm looking for is none of your business. Ought to just let me through. Way's all clear. Black ones, Gradanians. As long as they pay, I don't care. Where are those crafting supplies? Does stink of ammonia. Must be it. That'd be it. Gotta signal them now. Have you any idea whose warehouse this is, goat fucker? Oi, Geralt. It's a bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Sucrus? Why are you here? With the sorcerer? Ah, oh, now I see. That is one hell of a jest you pulled. Hattori sent you? That plowy non human will be sorry his mother didn't strangle him with his navel string. But first, we'll feed you to the crabs. Hands off my brother in law, swine. Only I can thrash him. Understood? Brother, let's mop the floor with these plowing Nordlings. Join us, Geralt. Adam! Give him here, Sucris. Twirsan! Stay <laughs>
with this fighter? Sucrus, forgive me. I love you like a brother, you unkempt bugger. Friends? Of course, friends. What good has Becker ever brought us? Where's that Dracker that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Stelliga before he comes to. Won't be any more trouble to you. And maybe we'll try a new venture. But first we have to move these crates to Hattori's. True. I had to pay him a visit too. The real is round the when he wins. No regrets. The seas are tossing, tossing, and the wind keeps blowing, hey there, blowing. Black ones, the Danian. Greetings, Ibeer. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how glad I am. I have no need of sucrus anymore and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. 